What is going on my friends? Your boy B Monstrosity here and I'm going to show you if you have the HD PVR2 how to live stream with it and the, my preferred settings on the video quality. Now I'll leave a link to my um, Twitch account in the description so you could go over and click on videos and check out my, my quality. Uh, I think it looks pretty damn good actually. Uh, so go over there and check it out and if you like it then come back and see me and I'll show you how to do that shit alright now let's go ahead and get started now if you have the HDP VR2 uh, if you haven't already uh, go into Google and search Hapog okay and then come down to the very first web results alright now that's Hapog.com alright now once you click on that you will go to this screen oops okay um, I skipped ahead one. All right, so let's go back here. You click on here, and it brings you up to this page. Don't worry, I'll get to the settings soon. Look at my super fast internet. Anyways, okay, you go to support. All right, all right, all right. You go to ACPVR2. All right, all right, all right. Then you go to capture app. And if you have not downloaded this already, be sure to download this. Okay. Now I was using Stream StreamEase there for a while, and it pretty much sucked. Okay. This right here it sucks. So this is the uh, brand new uh, capture software that Hapog has, which is not brand new. It's like a month old. So if you haven't came back in here and um, updated this and downloaded this yet, you need to. Okay. This is exactly what it looks like. All right. Now once you have that downloaded and installed. <clears throat> you will come uh, whenever you pull it up it'll look like this okay now you have your regular capture right here then you have your streamies okay now <clears throat> the cool thing about this software is that you can actually use your microphone from your computer and it'll record it at the same time as you're playing to where when you used to have to do this you used to have to do some crazy shit in order to record your voice at the same time when you're streaming okay now it also works on the capture side also okay so you just mic input and make sure that your microphone shows up but we're talking about streaming here okay so make sure your microphones in here and of course you can adjust the the levels right here and I have the HDMI in HDMI out blah 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 if you got PlayStation you should know what to do you're using components okay now the stream quality setting that I use is 1.51 all right very important uh, I would highly suggest if you like my stream quality then replicate this okay so what you need to do is this auto scaling will be on enabled you want to click disabled okay then of course put in your your twitch account your your channel ID and then also I don't know if it makes a difference but change the location to the closest point to you okay which in my case I'm in North Carolina so it would be Virginia alright now being that you disabled this right here uh, it's going to pull up this little bar all right now what you do click on it now I use uh, 720 I use 720 um, 720p whenever I'm playing Xbox okay if you play on 1080i or 1080p it should be the same thing okay but now <clears throat> whenever I'm playing on 720 you want to come over here and you want to change this instead of source change it to 720 by 480 okay and then come over here to the frame rate and switch it down to 15 okay I found that to be the most bestest way to utilize the HDP VR2 for live streaming okay now uh, for the for the 1080 uh, I'm not exactly sure but I'm pretty sure that if you use a 720 by 480 and the 15 this 15 I found is is really important so no matter what you do put these on 15 okay if you're still running 1080 uh, which is gonna be a pain in the ass because it's gonna take up more of your bandwidth uh, and whenever you're playing you're gonna lag harder so I found that 720 still works pretty good there's still a tiny bit of lag there of course because you're uploading to the internet but it's not huge and you could still play uh, you just might not be as effective uh, if you want to be a beast then come down here and and, and play in standard definition but pff, I'm above that 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, like I said, this uh, output frame rate, uh, I found it at 15. Uh, it, it's not so pixelated, okay? So be sure to keep that on 15. But this is exactly what I use right here. I play in 720, so I put it on 720 by uh, 480, and then 15, okay? Then hit OK. All right? Now that's basically all you need to know. Then you just click Start Device. And then I'm not going to actually start streaming because uh, it'll send out a message to Twitter. Um, which, by the way, if you're on Twitch, you can set that up in Twitch in your options. Um, but, you know, this is basically what it'll look like. Now, for streaming quality, I mean, it's it's crisp and clear. You know, you gotta you got to calculate in that you're not only streaming, but you're also playing the game at the same time. It's not like... Uh, whenever you put a video up on YouTube where you record it and then you go back and put it on YouTube. As far as streaming quality, uh, I think it looks uh, just as good as anybody else's that I've ever seen. So, <clears throat> now if you got baller ass fucking internet, uh, you might just want to keep the source and, and keep the output frame rate at, at 30. But that is a very high internet stream. Like, I'm talking about, like, business class, probably. All right? So, might just want to stick to this if you've got regular, old, everyday internet. All right? 720 by 8, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I see you streaming in the near future. And uh, be sure to go check out my stream, too. Play hardcore only. All right. Thanks for watching, people.